Hey everyone, Gaming Exposure here. I'm here to do another mod install. Today's mod is called the ICBM Missiles Mod. For today's mod, I'm going to show you how to install it for people without Magic Launcher and people with Magic Launcher. If you're curious what Magic Launcher is, I'll leave a link up here along with how to install WinRAR. And click on that, install WinRAR, because you're going to need it for this video. Go ahead and click on it if you don't have it. If you do, keep watching. So for the first thing you want to do, is you're going to want to go to this website, which I will leave the link in the description to. Actually, the link will take you here. And you're just going to click on download, and then it will take you here. Then you're going to install Minecraft Forge, which will take you to this, not this page, whoops. Which will take you to this page. Then you just click on client right here. And then it'll, it'll take you to add fly, and you press skip add, and it'll, it'll download. Next thing you want to do is you want to click on universal electricity, which you can click on it, it'll take you to here. You're going to scroll down, then you want to go ahead and click on version 0.4.2. Click on that one, take you to add fly, and it'll download. And then you go down to here, the third and final one, version 0.3.6. Click on that take you to add fly, you skip the add, and then it'll download. Then you have all three <coughs> all three files. To find these files, if you can't find them, you click on this little folder thing down here next to your search or just this little white folder. Click on it. Look for downloads right below desktop, two below favorites, and then it should be somewhere in your downloads file. Go ahead and find it and then drag them drag all three of them to your desktop. So these are the three files you should have. ICBM, Minecraft, um, Minecraft Forge, and Universal Electricity. So what you're going to do now is you're going to go to the bottom left corner, click on the Start menu, click on Search Programs and Files, type in percent, app, data, percent. Then you click on Roaming, double click your .minecraft, Go ahead and move this to the side so it's half. Now double click your bin. Now right click your Minecraft right here. And then press go to open with WinRAR Archiver. Then it'll open. And you can go ahead and cover this up. Then you're gonna double click Minecraft Forge. Move it to the right like this. What you're gonna want to do. So you can scroll all the way down, highlight all these files, except for this dot, dotted one at the very top. Take them and then just drag them in. If you drag them in, it'll put them all in. And then if you don't have meta imp deleted, I believe it's like right here. It's all capitals and has a dash in it. Go ahead and delete that or your Minecraft will black screen and or crash. So when you drag these in, you can go ahead and X out of this. X out of your Minecraft.jar. And if you X out of your uh, .minecraft already, just go ahead and do the same thing. Go to your start menu, search programs and files, percent, app, data, percent, and then click on roaming, double click .minecraft again. So when you're here in your .minecraft folder, you're going to look for the folder called mods, M-O-D-S, all lowercase. If you don't have one, you can make one just by right clicking, and then new, and then folder, and then you just make one and you name it mods all lowercase. So if you have one, go ahead and double click it. Move it to the side so you can still see these. Take universal electricity and the actual ICBM and drop them both into the mods folder. You just drop them in and that's all you have to do. And you just press back and then you can X out and then you're ready to go. Now for the people with magic launcher, go ahead and go to your MC mods folder take all three of these folders you don't have to do anything that started before all you have to do is just take all three all these three folders take them and just drop them in drop them right into the file that's how you do it for magic launcher if you're still interested for to doing that but just a lot easier go ahead and click in the annotation up here okay so going on now you can go ahead and X out of this and the mod should be all ready to go. I personally am using Magic Launcher, 
but it's going to work either way, no matter what you use. So double click Magic Launcher, and or you can double click your regular Minecraft. Go ahead and log in. Now I'm going to show you how to use this mod. This mod is really simple to use. So you can create a new world, <coughs> whatever you want to do. I'm going to create a new world. I'm just going to name it number one. I'll just make it. Uh, let's make it a super flat. Let's create it. I gotta turn the game volume down. Sorry. Okay, let's turn the sound and music off. <clears throat> All right. So now to use this mod, I'm sure you want to have your missiles all ready and up. So, you, so if you don't have too many items, look for the too many items. Uh, wait, too many items video in the top right. It'll be right up here, and you can grab and install it so you can use it with this. So if you have too many items. Go ahead and find all this stuff down here at the bottom below the records. First thing you have is you have all these grenades. These grenades do a lot of different stuff. It's really fun to use. Shrapnel, chemical, fragment, just all these different stuff. I'm going to go ahead and turn damage off. That's single player commands. It's also a video you can watch. So shrapnel grenade obviously does what it says. It just shoots out shrapnel. You know where it all went. Oh, I'm on fire now. That's what it does. And this next one, you can you can just try them up for yourself. I don't want to ruin it for you. I just want to show you how it all works. So to use the missile, to have missiles and stuff fly up into the air, you're going to take Launcher Platform T3, the blue one, and just go ahead and place it on the ground so it looks like this. Not the red one, not the green one. Make sure you have the blue one. Now, you want to find the blue launcher control panel and just place it down. Now, if you're in creative, good. If you're not, go ahead and switch if you have too many items. Go ahead and dig down. Good enough for you to have a pretty good space open for the next step. The next step is to take the coal generator and go ahead and place a couple of those down. So I'm going to go ahead and place a couple of coal generators down. Place one. Go ahead and place four. Now make sure that the little black dots are facing towards each other in the inside. Because we're going to be uh, using that. So now when those are faced like that. Now you find the um, copper wire. Which is right here copper wire, go ahead and grab yourself a lot of that and then connect these like so just place it down, connect them and then you can go ahead and have a wire go up to this and now right now it's the status not connected nothing's going on because you have to put coal in here so you can go ahead and spawn yourself some coal throw some coal in there and that will start generating some power So starts generating some power. Now you're starting to give this its power so it can launch. Actually, I need to move this. This is bad. Don't do that. Don't do what I did. Put it right next to this. Like literally right next to it. Because that is the only way you can, I believe, is the only way you can do it. So have it there like that. Let's go ahead and have a wire come on up. Oops. There we go. Now the watts should start to go up pretty soon. Yeah, there we go. Starting to move up real quick. Alright. So, while we do this, we can wait. And now you can choose a specific um, missile that you want. After you test out some of the great grenades, you can kind of see the similarities in their name, but they're just missiles. So right now I'm just going to use a nuclear missile. All you have to do is right click on one of these pillars, and then just place the missile in. And then there it is. So now you wait until this is all fully charged, 
while you do this, you can go find some coordinates that you want. I really don't know where these coordinates are going, but for the sake of time, for the sake of what we're doing, I'm just going to set the coordinates right here. Is this far enough away? Go a little bit further. I can go ahead and set it on this village, actually. This is what I'm going to do. So, we're going to set it on the village, and then we're going to go ahead and launch the missile. So let's go over to this village. Let's look at where this is. Right here. Let's go ahead and get ready. Alright. I got the numbers. I'm going to start heading back. Go ahead and move faster here. Target too close. Okay, don't worry. We're changing the target. So now what you want to do is you want to make sure after you have all of your coordinates ready to go, you want to type in the X and the Z. X and Z coordinate. So the X coordinate for me is 200, negative 200. And the Z coordinate is 327. Okay, so there we go. All you have to do is uh, get a lever place a lever right down here next to it and you're ready to launch now what I'm going to do is we're going to go ahead and check this out here we go off it goes so I'm going to try to beat it over the village so we can watch it as it goes down whoa I'm really lagging here we go let's see what it does I don't know where oh there it is here it comes and right where I wanted it to go and that's what the nuke does these little rings of little nu nuclearized that's a word dirt that will actually cause damage to you so this isn't a mod to do in survival it's more of just a fun mod you can have a multiplayer have miss missile battles and stuff and now you just wait for this to recharge back up place another one in more coordinates and have fun so thanks for watching please comment rate subscribe leave in the comment section any questions if nothing works or if you black screen anything I will answer it and thanks for watching